Hello. Well, today I am here to talk about a film that I, as of this recording, have just seen. Um, though I'm recording this at the end of March, and you'll see this towards the end of April. Um, you know, due to the other videos I've sort of scheduled for following the last many weeks. Um, and the film is uh, Nobody, starring uh, Bob Odenkirk. Um, and he essentially plays a man who uh, has an ordinary life. He uh, has an office job at his uh, father-in-law's uh, metal fabric fabrication company. And um, yeah, he has two kids, um, um, married. And uh, yeah, he seems to have an ordinary life, but then... One day, two people break into his house, and, um, yeah, yeah, that sort of triggers a lot of things that sort of begin the, sort of the events that unfold throughout this film, and, um, it's a new movie, and I know by the time, you know, uh, th this video comes out, it won't be as new as, say, some other films. But it's it's new uh, at this time. It's overall been uh, the reception has been pretty positive, and um, yeah, Bob Odenkirk's character's name is Hutch um, Hutch Mansell, and uh, yeah, and the other uh, yeah, people in the film are uh, Connie Nielsen plays his wife Becca, um, Riza uh, of the Wu Tang Clan. He is in this film, and uh, Christopher Lloyd plays his uh, uh, Hutch's uh, father. Um, and yeah, this uh, is a very good film. Um, it's written by the guy who uh, who wrote the John Wick films and produced by the, uh, the directors, one of the directors. And Bob Odenkirk also produced this film. Um, it's a very, I think it's a very good film. You know, as the film goes on, you you see him, you know, begin to act out uh, like after this robbery, and he's very, you know, skilled. And throughout the film, you f get to hear sort of yeah, how exactly he knows what he's doing, how he's able to fight, and how he's able to shoot so well, and all the stuff uh, that follows and um yeah i don't want to spend too much time because even though by the time again this video is out uh, it's it's uh you know many more people may uh, have seen this but i got, again i know because of depending on where one lives in the world um people might not be able to see this because this is only in theaters you know universal doesn't really have a streaming service. They haven't dipped into that at this time. And it says only in theaters. So um, to anybody who doesn't have a theater that's opened, you're not going to be able to see this film. Um, but uh, it's a very good movie. Um, Bob Odenkirk is, is great. Uh, you know, he's trying something different. You know, he's never really done action before. Um... There's also humor in this film, which is good. You know, Bob Odenkirk is, he used to do humor. You know, there's Mr. Show, and he used to write for Saturday Night Live and wrote for uh, the Ben Stiller Show. He actually won two Emmys for writing. Um, and, of course, you know, these days he's best known for playing uh, Saul Goodman or Jimmy McGill in Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. You know, those are two dramas. Those aren't comedies. Um, there are comedic elements in both shows. Um, good number, uh, amount of humor comes from him on Breaking Bad. Um, and on Better Call Saul, though there's other things that are quite humorous on Better Call Saul, too. Not just him. But, uh, yeah, uh, over the years, he's had a great career of being in more dramatic roles. Um... And, uh, you know, now he's uh, delved into the 
action genre, and he's he does a he's a very does a very good job, you know. Uh, after seeing this um, today, uh, I I just watched some stuff like interviews with him, and uh, he he did his own stunts. Really, he wanted to make sure he was able to do pretty much as much as he could do with like no other guy doubling for him, and uh, because you know he's never done anything like this, you know. Uh, this could be his only action film. Um, you know, he's like, he didn't want to be very, like, ripped or anything for this movie, but he, like, in a way, it's like he wants to have, like, sort of a, uh, not necessarily a dad body, but, you know, a dad who d keeps in shape, but isn't ripped either, like, uh, and, you know, it's, you know, you see him uh, at, like, a bus stop, and, doing some pull-ups, uh, alone in his morning, uh, like, morning runs and stuff, and, you know, at first it's quite interesting, like, because at first you see, essentially, the end, like, what he kind of looks like and everything at the end of the film, and then, of course, it goes backward, back, and, like, 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 like weeks or so before, week or so before, um, and it's interesting how all this in the, uh, culminates into a Russian, uh, mob, uh, mob boss, basically, um, he, uh, you know, is, uh, uh, tries to go after and kill him, uh, and it's because of, like, a, at a bus, you know, he fought a whole bunch of guys, and, one of the guys he fought was this guy's brother, and like his younger brother, and it's just interesting how, like a robbery at the beginning of the film just sort of led to all this stuff, like all the pent up rage and anger that he has had for all these years, and it just unleashes into what you see <laughs> throughout the film, and um, you do get to hear some backstory uh, a bit about him, about what he's done. Prior to the life he has with his wife and kids, it's quite interesting, um, too. Um, it's a it's like ninety two minutes, so it's an hour and a half, um, and, and it's a pretty good hour and a half too. I, it was really fun to watch this you know, on the big screen. Um, uh, you know, I had heard about this months ago. So trailers and thought I want to see this and uh, it was supposed to come out in February um, but pushed back a month uh, and uh, yeah it's a uh, it's a very good film you know uh, the acting is really great uh, excellent great across like everybody it does a uh, good job um, the writing is good the direction is good you know this this film is a very good film um, it may not necessarily be film of the year, per se, but um, it's a really good movie. It's a, it's worth the watch. Um, and I think if you like the John Wick films, you will enjoy these. If you don't enjoy the John Wick films, um, you might not enjoy it. Um, but perhaps you can. I mean, it's not like the John Wick films in which, you know, uh, we're in that world of, like... Uh, say, like, uh, uh, hitmen are basically, like, it's a legitimate profession in the world of John Wick. Uh, you know, assassins putting hits on people and all that's legitimate. And, you know, this is in the real world, but it's also a bit heightened to a degree. You know, it's not completely, I mean, you know, it's quite, it's realistic, but also there's some stuff that's, like, Okay, that couldn't happen that way in real life. You know, stuff is exaggerated for films. Um, like action films often do, you know, set in a realistic setting, but there are things that happen in action movies as, like, that probably, yeah, like, that couldn't happen, or if it did happen, it wouldn't be, like, like an explosion or something of the sort, like, that just, or a crash might not happen that way, um, 
it's just uh you know it's a it's a very entertaining film and um I think it is worth a watch you know perhaps if even if you're not a John Wick fan um might be worth watching um I don't know if this would ever have a sequel um of course I've just seen it once so as of now of the re this recording but I uh, I don't know I mean I really enjoy this film and part of me would like to see more but at the same time I'm kind of like no I would kind of like this to just be a one-off, and, you know, there's no sequels or anything. This isn't, like, a franchise like John Wick. Um, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, it's made $12.1 million in the, in the first weekend. Um, $16 million budget, so uh, I think as, you know, seems like good word of mouth is going on, and... People are seeing it, and hopefully it'll make all of its money back and more. Um, this is a film that I think if you're able to see, you know, I think it's worth watching if you enjoy action films, especially if you enjoy John Wick. I think you would enjoy it. Um, um, but even if you don't like John Wick, uh, you know, give it a shot. Give it a watch. Maybe you'd like it, or maybe you won't. Um but it was a this was a fun film this was a fun watch um you know it's not a film where you have to really think a lot um you can just watch it for 90 minutes and enjoy what's going on enjoy the action enjoy the the humor that comes up enjoy what what goes on it's just it's 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 a very fun film it was really cool to see um i think bob odenkirk's a fantastic actor i have mentioned better call saul and breaking bad on the channel before and i think he's a an excellent actor overall uh, and everybody in this film is but him you know you know i think he keeps getting better and better as an actor you know he's branching out he's not just you know obviously he's branched out doing more dramatic work with breaking bad um and now he's branching out with action films with nobody. And, uh, yeah, I just, I enjoyed this film quite a bit. And, uh, again, it's new, so I don't want to really have any big spoilers for anybody who hasn't seen this and who may not be able to see it, depending on where you live. Um, you know, theaters may be closed where you live, so, you know, it's not an option to stream it right now. You'll have to wait until around the, like, the Blu-ray release to be able to stream it, uh, you know, and that will be available, um, an option. But if uh, you're able to see it on the big screen, uh, I would say go, go for it. It's, it's a really good film. It's a fun film. Uh, I enjoyed it. I thought, again, yeah, I could just continue talking and saying how good it is but then i might delve into some spoilers and i don't want to do that um if i ever uh do talk about it in more detail someday and hopefully be months from now at the earliest when it's on blu-ray and more people have had a chance to see it um but this was a fun movie to see you know when i go to the theater anymore there i often see older films um that's not to say new films aren't good, you know, I mean, I, you know, last year I enjoyed Tenet, and I uh, would have loved to have seen Capone on the big screen, and some of the other movies that were going to be on the big screen, but weren't because of all that happened last year, so, you know, some went to streaming, some were in select theaters, um, but yeah, uh, I think this is a film that is definitely worth a watch, um, if you, uh, again, you enjoy action films, like John Wick, you like Bob Odenkirk, uh, let's say, 
you want to see something new with him that he hasn't really done before, give this a watch. You know, Nobody is a really good movie, has humor, uh, has great, uh, great action, and, you know, interesting characters, you know. Um, Hutch is a very interesting character. He's very fascinating. We know just enough about him that it makes you wonder more about him, and perhaps that might be for the best, you know know too much about him. Just know enough, and there you go. Um, yeah, I just, I love this movie. This is a fantastic film. Um, if I'm able to see it again, you know, I won't complain. But I don't know, uh, as of now, if I will see it in the near future. Um, perhaps I will. Um, but in any event, uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on Nobody. I enjoyed it. I think it's good. And, uh, yeah. If you, uh, have seen it, um, you, you may comment about it. Or if you want to see it, you can comment it again. Whatever you uh, have to say or whatever you want to say, really. Um, yeah. And so, um, till uh, next time. I hope you all have a Great weekend, great week, and a great day, and take care.